So we're waiting on the yield monitor for the combine to show up and we just picked up these flaps for the corn head. And what these do, they serve to keep the corn from rolling back out in front of the head. And this row is missing too. That one needs to be replaced. And they're pretty wore out. So this should help reduce some of the loss we have on individual rows by preventing the corn from rolling back out quite as easily. That's the piece I'm excited about right there. This is a 1200 uh, display by Egg Leader. So this is basically their third generation of displays. <laughs> He's recording you while you're talking. I so. know. So uh, they had the Insight and then the Integra and this is the 1200. So this new generation display will communicate with other displays out in the field. And okay. uh, it's a brand new operation. Cool. So cool. can do everything from steering to data ma uh, monitoring, uh, data collection, pretty much work with whatever color equipment. So. Awesome. Yep. This is Andrew from WSAG. He is going to be mounting a yield monitor on the combine for us. Brought everything in. We're going to start mounting it. We were hoping to get started harvesting today, but it rained this morning, so we got put off a little bit. We'll see what the moisture is running tonight and uh, we're going to mount it this afternoon. So this is, I was telling you guys about that bearing yeah. on the end. This would be the adjustment plate, which we might be able to use that one that's on there. No, they did change it. See how this has got the slots in it? And I asked on yours if it was slotted on the inside because that's how you got to move it. This is the moisture sensor. So this goes right inside the unit that's in the brown box there. So this unit reads temperature and moisture. Temperature too, huh? Yeah. Cool. That's cool. So if you want to put that in that box. You got some pretty awesome dogs around here. You can't look at them, they run the opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> this is your header height. Yeah. So this is just like the plan where it's going to be mounted on the feeder house, yep. going to Callan Acres and whatnot. Yep. Wow, I'm sure glad you're not this now. <laughs> <laughs> These are the brain boxes of the operation. You got a moisture module and a speed module. So your header height sensor, your transmission sensor, and your elevator speed sensor plug into this box. And then your uh, um, side unit that mounts on the elevator plugs into this box. So and these two communicate through CAN cabling. So it's just a matter of um, a four wire cable. It reads CAN high and CAN low. And based on the pulses it sends to the monitor, it, can, it reads the information. So this mounts on here, like so. And that's, what's that do? Um, this uh, senses the grain flow hitting against it. Oh, okay. So this is the plate that it's going to transmit a signal to here. For grass, they actually have a plate that's just rubber, whereas this is a solid plate. But that's how they can sense yield in grass crops, even as small as those seeds are. Based on the way that plate vibrates, they can get accurate yield calibrations. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine one. there's somebody in the history of man that has sat in the lab somewhere and had to figure up all the <laughs> math? <laughs> this, this was the last one I ordered. That's uh, some of the most efficient work we do around here. This is the last one. Last minute stuff? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so, what we are going to run. No. Who are you, white man? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else from one deer machine to the next is pretty universal though.
All right, so here's the sensor. This is going to fit in there, like so, just like that. And then this piece I have to put in through here. And this is what measures your flow. So anybody that's ever wondered what the inside of a moisture tester looks like for a combine, there you go. as Travis had just said it to me, corn comes down here, hits the moisture tester right there, and the auger comes up and drops it back yeah. down. In. After it gets done testing the moisture, it augers, augers it out and it goes back in, into the conveyor. Clean grain elevator. Well, ain't that just nifty? So, there we got the monitor. Looks slick. Covers up the current yield monitor in the combine. However, uh, it is pretty well useless, I think. Yeah, um, that one's not quite as accurate anyway. Um, we got our this is new this year. This is a secondary monitor for the backup camera. This is the monitor for the grain tank, so we can see exactly how full it is. We got switches up here for the aux beams. Those are new this year. I just replaced the fan, the fins down there to keep the corn from falling out of the head. But uh, yeah, we got quite a few new toys for the combine this year. It's pretty cool. We've got everything hooked up now and um, we should be pretty well set to go. Andrew's gonna come back and he's gonna finish hooking up the monitor and everything. Uh, he had to rush out of here, but um, we should be pretty well set to go. Until he gets back, we're gonna t take it outside and we're gonna try to start selling some, sell shelling some, but um, I'll make sure to do a video on the monitor and how that and everything works and um, once we get going and once we're familiarized with it. So uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, thanks Andrew. Yeah, thanks, Andrew, <laughs> from WS out of Darlington. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, All How Farms Work. So I'll see you next time.